So I didn't even think they really even made these much anymore, but it looks like they do. So we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna take a look at it right now. Coming up, what is it? Well, it's a digital picture frame. That's what it is. Hmm, yeah. Okay, let's, let's look at this. Sure, right now. Okay guys, so first off, here it is. This is this is it in the box. As you can see, I haven't opened it. Classic 10 Wi-Fi cloud photo frame by Dragon Touch. So by Dragon Touch. And if you look on the back here, just gotta spin it around. 10.1 uh, inch HD display. Uh, it looks like 1280 by 800 IPS. Clear and vivid. Excellent color display. Uh, room for memories, built-in 16 gig memories, keep over 40,000 photos. Now, again, that's, they always do this. That's an estimate based on file size, right? That makes more sense. Share your moments in photos or footage. So you can put videos on there as well, that's cool. Easy operation, nice. For inquiries, it says do this stuff. And what's awesome about it is it looks like you can download an app for iPhone or Android and use that to move photos across, which is cool. So we'll see how well that works. Now, just so you guys can see it here on the Amazon, 16 gig storage, right? Auto rotate, share photos with friends via email, app, cloud. Right now, about $130 US, but it does have, look at this, $20, kind of a click coupon deal, click coupon, click it, you get a coupon deal, coupon clicker, yeah. Stay together with family, instant wireless sharing, a wonderful picture display, easy setup. I'm hoping that's true. Easy setup is good. Over 40,000 photos stored on the 16 gig internal. There we go. Looks cool. Looks like a looks like a frame. Like a like a real frame if you look at these kind of pictures, right? I hope it looks as good as that cuz that's that's snazzy if that's the case. I'm like, yeah, that's excellent. 129 bucks. Cheaper than buying like a tablet if that's all you're going to use it for is throwing pictures on it and a tablet doesn't look like a picture frame so if you're looking for the picture frame look because you're putting it on your mantle right putting it putting it beside putting it on the bookshelf right you're on the bookshelf you're like I don't want to just throw my iPad there my tablet nope this is going there yeah all right let's let's open it it's a big box like it's big do one of those plastics coming off some of the plastic came off not all of it there we go. I'm excited. I've never ever owned a digital picture frame. And this one, cloud. Yeah, Wi-Fi cloud photo frame. That's even cooler. Look how happy these guys are. They're ecstatic. They shouldn't even be allowed to be that happy. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's 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 crack it open. Ready? I think we just lift the top. Yep, top's coming off. There it is. Just so you guys know before that, that's a that's a good, good hefty. Nice thick box. Money went in that, my friends, money. Okay, so we got power adapter. That's what comes in here. Nice little power adapter, excellent. We have a mini USB, not a micro, mini USB, just so you guys know. So that's what you're getting. And you're getting, you're getting this. Oh, come on now, that's, what is this? Maybe the back stand, maybe? Oh, looks, look at that. Looks like a little picture frame. Isn't that cool? And I'm guessing this, yeah, no, maybe, oh yeah. That, that's kinda, just snaps in the back there, maybe. See, there's like a, you guys see that? Right here, there's a little, there's a little spinny guy. There it goes. That's your stand, right? So now, when this isn't here, that's standing. Mmm. It's good stuff. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take that off because if it's on, you guys can't see anything I'm doing. So we're just gonna put that there. That's going down here for now. You also get you also get a quick start guide, and this is uh, it's a little on the small side for fonts, but big enough for me to see a QR code. There's a bunch of languages in here, so we're gonna we're gonna go through some of this. So English, Dutch, Espanol, France. Francis, French, Italian, and I don't, Chinese or Japanese or one of the 
one of the Asian languages. Because I, I apologize. I don't, I don't know which one of that is. But there you go. So six different languages. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So what do we have? We're gonna. Okay. Then we have this. This is the activate your two year free warranty. Two years. Hmm. Excellent. We like two years. Nice and simple. DragonTouch.com warranty. Make sure you do not. That's not right. Make sure you do this now to ensure your purchase is 200% covered. Wow, all we need is your name, email, and purchase details. That's it, warranty, bingo, we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna take all this stuff, put it here for now. Okay, we're gonna put this stuff back in the box. All right, here we go, getting started. Power your photo frame on by connecting power cable. Okay, I got that, I got that. I think I have power somewhere. I don't know how long this is. And my, oh, it looks like it's a decent length. I was like, and my power bar is not overly close, so we'll get it going. We'll get it going for sure. Get it going. That's decent. I'd say that's like six feet. That's that's good. It's nice and long. It says, please peel off this mask after application is complete. After. Okay. So what are we gonna do in here? Just says power somewhere. I'm guessing. Oh, see on the on the back, the back side right here. This is where we got all of our goodness. So I'm guessing it's only can fit in one of them. So I'm, I'm guessing it's that one. That's the one we're choosing. Oh, look, it lit up. That's nice. Connect your photo frame to Wi-Fi network. I guess for waiting. I kinda wanna take this off. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off. Ooh. There we go. And I'm gonna use this as my manual. I'm just gonna put this down here. That's nice though. So I'm connecting your photo frame to the Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna do this. You guys don't need to hang out. We'll zip through this stuff for you. I'll just, I'll stop at the stuff that's important. Yes? Yes. All right, choose network, here we go. All right, so I, looks like it probably only supports 2.4 gigahertz because it's not seeing any of the five gigahertz networks, so just be aware. So I'm gonna tap on this here, so this is mine. I'm gonna pop in my password, you guys don't get to see this. It actually feels like it's probably running like a like a small version of like Android or something because it seems very Android-y. Connect, see how that goes. Obtaining, good, that means password was right, that's excellent. All right, so we're connected, next. All right, language, English, city. Uh, I can, I guess, put something in here. So I'll, I'll put uh, Ottawa, Ontario. Yep. Time zone. Not Pacific. We are Eastern. Eastern time. Cool. A little arrow on the bottom here to kind of for kind of go through it. Set the daily schedule to allow your classic 10 to sleep and wake. Oh, so when when it should turn on. All right, so we can turn on maybe a little earlier because we actually get up a little earlier. So let's turn on at 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 and auto turn off at, let's turn off at 11, at 11.59 at night. Yes, auto on, auto off. Please download and install the app, register an account, and log in. Then add the device to my devices in the devices module of the main interface of the app. iOS, please search for our photo app from the Apple App Store. So I'm gonna keep this here. So I'm gonna actually stop this camera up top because that's my iPhone. So we're gonna grab that now and we're going to continue this once I download that app. Okay, hold on one sec. We are going to be going here to the App Store and we are simply going to download, it says Our Photo is the name of the app. All right, so let's see if we can find this. That's the app I'm guessing, Our Photo, I'm hoping. Okay, the app looks like it's coming down, so that's excellent. Here we go. We are going to sign up. So I'm gonna fill in this part here. You guys don't necessarily need to see all this. I'm not sure it says verify code. I don't know what this verify code is. Maybe I have to, there's a little, little, oh yeah, so you see, you have to get it to send an email. So it sends an email first. There's a little tiny, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little tiny, like paper airplane beside the email that you have to click on. It's not, that's not obvious. And then what happens is I think it's gonna send us an email. Yeah, so I got an R photo verification with a code on it. That makes more sense. All right, so we put the code in. It's a verification code. I hit submit. We're rocking and rolling. Excellent, cool. Now what do we do? So we got user management. Oh, we got device info. So there it is, okay, user management. Users, 
I'm not really sure. Oh, oh, I got devices here. Maybe on here. So if I go back, so this on here, on on here, doesn't actually have a devices, but it has one on the app. So there's this little yellow one there. That's devices. So I'm gonna click on that devices. All right. So this is my devices, bound devices. So I'm gonna click on my devices. Maybe the other thing that's important is maybe I need to be on the same network as it. So I'm gonna make sure I go into my settings and make sure I'm on the same network because my phone's on a 5G network versus this, which is on the 2.4 gigahertz network. So I'm gonna switch networks just to see. Oh, Greg Tube, request a bind to your device. All right. So if I tap that, I'm gonna say accept it. I seem to have, seem to have, seem to have something happening. Excellent, my devices. That's excellent, my devices. There it is, waiting for confirmation. If I refresh it, bingo, connected. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's good. Can I photo media? So I'm allowing it to connect. I'm gonna see if I can send over a bunch of photos. Now the other cool thing just on the photo frame itself is that you will see that it has things like the temperature and the date and the little video section here. And I believe you can just put an SD card in the back if you so choose. Now that, that may honestly have been just a little faster, but I wanted to see how this works. So what if I tap on the photos here? Okay, so we have successfully moved over some pictures from my phone through the cloud, I guess, to here, which is great. And you'll see actually them showing up on here, which is super cool. But I also wanted to, oh look, it just started. Nice. Tell you that you can only kind of, when you do it through the cloud, you seem to only have a limit of nine pictures at a time. So it can be a nice way to send, you know, a couple photos to the frame. If you just added some to your phone, you're like, oh, I just want to send these three pictures over because we went out on a trip today. And these are the three pictures that I want over there. That would be cool. But really, if you would like to send a large amount of photos you'd want to do this with an sd card we're going to just show you real fast here so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually go on to i have a sd card in my computer and i'm gonna open it and i'm just gonna make a folder and it's just for me i'm gonna just call it photos okay so a little photos and i'm gonna go into my photos application here and i'm going to just pick see if i can go back here uh some pictures of our trip to New York. So we'll kind of come back. Yeah, so I'll randomly just choose some photos here. The other thing I'm probably pretty sure of is you want to make sure that, oh, I'll pick a video here too, just to see. We'll pick one video. Here's a video. You probably want to make sure that your photos are in this aspect are all in JPEG because if they're in raw, I don't know if this would have the ability to actually read those. So just kind of be aware. But I'm gonna grab a couple photos here. All right, I got some pics and some videos selected. So what we're gonna do is just kinda get those so I can see one that I have here. There it is. We're going to try to copy those to this photo folder. Now again, the big thing to remember is, and there's a couple things, is that number one, don't send over RAWs. Uh, another big one is actually make sure if possible that your photos are kind of framed if possible in like a four by three or a 16 by nine because if they're basically not a square because if they're a square i find that i've seen them come over here and they, it cuts it off it tries to figure out if, that it's a rectangle and it cuts off some of the photos so that's that's not great so most of these are great if you look down here they crop and they sometimes crop in a little bit more than usual that's okay but the square ones seem to really have a bit of an issue. All right, so inside here now we have a whole bunch, which is good. So some JPEGs, some MOVs, cool. We're gonna pop that out and we are simply going to take that card and in the side here, again, you guys hopefully can see that, there's a little SD card right there and we're simply just gonna pop it in. It only goes in one way. It doesn't slide all the way, it just slides. So just make sure that's oriented the right way. Top left hand corner here is like a little button to kind of get out of here. So you just kind of say go back to the home. And we can go into, I believe, I believe it's into photos. Okay, so a few things you can see that kind of come up here, right? You can see a bunch of the photos. And you can see little photos here that, like this one, see how it's cutting off the top? I don't know if you guys can see that here. So you can see how that gets cut off. I'm going to say let's, let's as much as we love that photo, maybe settings. 
No. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one. Yep. No go. Anything else that looks like? Cause you're getting a good sample in here, you know, of what those photos look like. Everything else looks like it's got a nice crop to it. Oh, this one. This one does not. So we're gonna take that one, same thing. Now what I could do, of course, is edit it on the computer so that it's gonna come over properly like that. So here they are, looking looking fantastic. And now, we basically got our photos here. And now you can just play the slideshow. So now all we would do is we go back to here. So at this point, what you do is you just kinda let it sit there and it'll start playing. Now before you get it going, you may want to come into the settings section here and you'll see things like your album settings and system settings. System of course is setting like your language and all that. But album settings is where you do like slideshow mode and slideshow and your intervals and your transitions. So like slideshow, do you want sequential? Do you want random? How do you want this? I'd be like, oh, I want random, that's fine. Do you want to delete photos from internal storage? What do you want to do? Like fit, oh, there you go. Fit, the photo will be displayed in full screen. So I could have done that. So that, if you had a square one, that would be okay. That would work. You could just change that there. There you go, here's the fix. Nice. And again, just kind of back out and you're good to go. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a nice little picture frame. Nothing wrong with that. And again, you can see at the top right hand corner there that it's connecting. Seems it seems good. I'm I'm pleased. And uh, that's it, my friends. Picture frame, 129 bucks minus the coupon right now. I think that's good. And the quality is nice. It's a nice, you know, it's a great it's a great display. You got to remember this is this is something that's going to have a bit of a viewing distance, right? You're not going to be sitting there like a tablet, being like, hmm. Because at that point, you should buy a tablet. But if you want a picture frame, this is going to have a viewing distance. It's nice and bright, and the photos look great on it. I, I'm, I'm very pleased. And again, viewing distance, you know, probably, probably, you know, two, three feet at minimum. That's, that's all. That's okay. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Link down below if you guys are interested in getting one. And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Later, my friends.